in the public eye like you are and you make yourself vulnerable, you talk about your life, you can get feedback. Well, you do. People just mm. let you know their opinions. How do you handle when negative criticism comes to you? Um, I don't suppose I see it that often. Mm. Like, I don't, I don't read forums that are hating on me. I don't right. see the point in that. Yeah. When I did, I did, you know, that crazy singing thing, it takes two years ago now, yeah. probably six years ago, five, really? five or six yeah, years ago. Was. Um, that was just as, it was MySpace, it was before Facebook, oh, yeah. and there were lots of forums, and I stupidly read some of those, and it just destroyed me. Yeah. So I, I just now steer clear of that kind of stuff. Any kind of haters I get on Twitter, I think, well, yeah. I, I can't I can't please everyone, so sorry, yeah. dude. And any time people, like, I love it, they always go, you know, your show's, you, you know, your tacky radio show, it's, you know, always really, it's lowbrow, it's, um, you know, stunts and uh, overly uh, blue at times and all the things they say, I just go, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to do yeah. that's commercial radio and and if you don't like it don't listen to it yeah. I can't help you with that my friend because I also yeah. know I'm so so aware that it's also um intelligent mm. we speak about things that um I think are really important for women to hear about body image and politics yeah. and feminism and literature and you know so many different things dressed up as tacky and lowbrow like yeah. you can do that with comedy that's what's so great about it and we help people. We gave away five hundred thousand dollars last year. Yeah, to, yeah. You know, disadvantaged kids. So yeah. I'm kind of comfortable with what I do. And if you criticise me, well, good on you. But I, we can't be all things to everyone. No.